Assalamu alaikum everybody. This is Alishano. I'm out here under the bright sun. It's midday. It's hot But I'm excited because I'm gonna test the new OFM Swift TR260 That is a tilt rotor quadcopter now you have seen I was advertising about the OFM hyper 330 tilt rotor um, FPV racing quadcopter. We were actually very close to the production of uh, OFM Hyper 330 tilt rotor FPV racing quadcopter, but we had some unfortunate partnership issues. I have posted the updates on my website as well, but I have removed it right now because now I have posted more updates about the Swift TR260 FPV racing quadcopter. I was really worried that the project has to be completely halted, completely stopped, and the tilt rotor FPV racing quadcopter project from my side will have to die. However, with the help of some trusted friends and another good friend who has happened to have a factory for production of many, many different things, they're producing Ehang Ghost as well. So that friend helped me resurrect the OFM tilt rotor FPV racing project. And I'm very happy that I'm outside today with the OFM Swift TR260 FPV racing quadcopter. So gladly, this project does not have to die. This concept does not have to die. I'm continuing this project. I'm continuing this concept all by myself without any partnership this time so that I can control all the aspects of production, quality, and sales, of course, the promotions as well. OFM Swift TR260 right here in my hands has all the great features and capabilities of Hyper 330 and yet none of the drawbacks that that quadcopter had. So let me bring the camera closer and give you a closer look to OFM Swift TR260 and we will talk about what we have improved in this quadcopter. All right, so this is the very first production model that just came out uh, right from the factory in Dongguan where I'm producing these things. I have flown it and today I'm going to put it to some hardcore testing after I have installed the Xiaomi camera on it and uh, my FPV system. So today I'm going to fly the FPV on this model. Now let's talk about the improvements. The working principle, the core feature of this quadcopter that is tilt rotor, uh, dynamic rotor tilting DRT that we are calling before we was calling it uh, DMT dynamic motor tilting but we're calling it dynamic rotor tilting okay so the core feature of DRT or dynamic rotor tilting is, is still here because that was the basic feature this thing is built upon uh, looks are almost the same with uh, some of the improvements in the frame so first thing you might want to notice is uh, here is my old 250 size quadcopter so first thing you might notice is that the Swift TR260 has shrank has shed a lot of weight so it has shrank it is smaller and it is a 260 millimeter or 260 mm or 260 size quadcopter because this is my old Chinese 260 clone and you can see the size comparison these quadcopters are of the same size so let me put it back here and we'll talk about this more so first off this is a smaller this is lighter and of course with the same dynamic rotor DRT dynamic rotor tilting this thing is gonna rip some more serious speeds now the next thing is the canopy is still here that gives you an aerodynamic shape and reduces the drag okay so first off we're gonna supply the transparent canopy so people will have the choices to paint these canopies as per their own choices as they like okay so that's the first thing the second thing that we see here apart from the size let me zoom in a little bit more apart from the size that shrank a lot we have shed a lot of weight on swift tr260 on this quadcopter we have gotten rid of a lot of lot of redundant parts that were before before we had a clean and dirty section now we don't have a clean and dirty section the only clean section is right here on top for you to mount your fpv video transmitter 
your GoPro or Xiaomi camera, your FPV camera, or you can move the transmitter. Or I'm using a big one, but if you're using a smaller transmission, tra video transmitter, you will have a lot of space to mount your Mobius here. So basically, this is your clean section for shooting jello free video. The rest of the section is the dirty section, but the flight controller is mounted on double sided tape, so it's still not getting much vibrations and it's still working pretty neat. You can see the width of the central plates have shrank a lot so it's now thinner which will give us additional aerodynamic shape on canopy that is a thinner canopy and lighter weight of course now still there is a plenty of space inside between these two plates for you to mount your uh, flight controller and other gear ESCs or speed controllers are mounted once again the similar way on the motor mounts so that they keep cool with the prop wash now the one more thing that we were having problems with was the front motors or front rotor prop wash disturbing the rear rotor prop wash so the solution was to mount the motors upside down so the front propellers were, will be lower and the rear propellers will be a bit higher well it needed some of the tweaking and some of the changes and I did not make the quadcopter look beautiful so what we did is we improved the motor mounts now you can see that the motor mounts are a little bit curved forward a little bit curved forward okay so these are the curved motor mount and using them this way the forward motors are actually a little bit forward and rear motors are actually a little bit rare this means when we tilt the rotors the forward motors will be a bit lower compared to the rear motors while the rear motors will be a little bit upward okay so this way uh, we have solved the prop wash the front prop wash disturbing the rear prop wash issue completely here I did not see any unwanted yaw or any uncontrollable yaw issues at higher speeds on this quadcopter and today I'm gonna put it to FPV testing that is fly FPV and see if there is any such unwanted yaw or uncontrollable yaw issue that we were facing on hyper 330 project so I also got the new motor mounts that I'm gonna f uh, further test very very soon and they are a little bit more curved so that we will have the motors front and rear motors up and down a little bit more when they are tilting and completely getting rid of front prop wash disturbing the rear prop wash now before we sum up all these improvements on this quadcopter one last thing is we now have the metal landing gear okay metal landing skids so if you are straight on the propellers or rotors when you hit the ground you will still skid and the other funny thing is you can even walk your quadcopter I'm gonna show it to you very very soon and anyway so that is not very important if your quadcopter can walk or not the most important thing is how it flies so now let's sum up all these improvements very very quickly number one the size is smaller that is it's a 260 millimeter size and totally race legal in, in some countries in some FPV racing clubs 330s are not allowed to race only 260 or 250 sizes are allowed to race so this OFM Swift TR260 is now completely FPV race legal okay because of its size that's the first thing the second thing is we have gotten rid of a lot of redundant parts okay so we have shed a lot of weight on this one not only the size but also weight now all out flying weight with the battery 4s battery on board FPV system and camera could be easily 900 G or under which is a very very nice weight for you to fly all out flying weight I'm talking about not just bare frame or electronics weight everything on board 900 G or less so that is another improvement here now lesser parts smaller size um, clean section for the FPV and uh, cameras curved motor mounts so that you don't have the prop wash disturbing the rear front prop wash disturbing the rear prop wash um, we have the landing gear here core feature the rotor tilting is uh, still here okay and we still have the sleek aerodynamic canopy for you to make your quadcopter look beautiful and also reduce the drag during the flight so before I put the camera down and start flying this I would like to say that we are going to produce uh, start production in June this month of course and we are going to supply it completely ready to fly well ready to race RTR right outside the box so you don't have to build anything for those who don't have time for those who don't have skills to build so all you need to do is buy the OFM Swift 
TR260 completely ready to race RTR version. Take it outside the box, add the battery and start racing. Well, you have to buy the FPV system separately and your HD cameras, but rest of the things will be RTR, ready to race right outside the box. The second version we're gonna sell will be the uh, receiver ready for those who want to use their own FPV system and own radio gear. They can actually get the receiver ready version, install their receiver, use their own battery, use their own FPV system and start flying. For ready to race version, of course, we will have FPV systems readily available as well. And for those who actually like to build this beast, little beast with their own power system, with their own gear, we will also have only the frame kit with the high quality servo for dynamic rotor tilting. All right, so enough talking. Let's start flying and see how this baby is going to behave. Flying on 3S, don't expect too much speed. without dynamic motor tilting. Of course you have aerobatics in your hands. Let me change the battery to forest and fly FPV. 